First, driving Tampa Bay forward. Good evening, everyone. I'm Laura Harris. And I'm Paula Drone. SunPass accounts back up and running tonight after that month long outage. And now there's a new request to waive millions of fees. ABC Action News reporter Nicole Grigg is tracking the new developments. To give you an idea of what's been happening, I want to show you my SunPass account on Tuesday. I was charged five different times for using the Selman last month because they're trying to catch up on those transactions. The new change.org petition asking the state to not charge SunPass users during the entire time their system was down. It's kind of a, um, you know, an inconvenience. <laughs> Rideshare drivers like Earl Tomlinson get paid back for using tolls. Since we don't really get um, a good amount of fare in the first place, it's a little, you know, kind of a wear and tear kind of thing. The man out of Orlando who started the petition tells me he works for two delivery companies and he has to submit each toll use on the day he works in order to get reimbursed. So far, there's only a few dozen signatures on his petition, but he knows this is impacting drivers all across the state. Recently, I had to, you know, uh, put a payment to my son pass and it's it's a nice little hefty, you know, chunk. State officials have said they are not charging late fees or penalties for that month long outage and they will slowly post the transactions to your account, starting with the oldest payment first. Florida's Department of Transportation said earlier this week that they're processing as many as 8 million transactions each day. Reporting in Tampa, Nicole Grigg, ABC Action News.